Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Uh, today we got a pretty simple plugin, but I think it's pretty necessary to have on the server. It's called Auto Restart. And uh, this plugin basically, as the name suggests, restarts your server automatically. You don't even have to be online. And it's a good thing to have uh, because it will refresh your server, uh, it will clear out your memory usage and reset your RAM, and that just makes your server run a lot better and clears out lag as well. So this plugin is supported on 1.8 to 1.14. I'm testing on 1.14.4 right now, but before we get into showcasing how this plugin works, you do have to have a restart script already uh, in order for this plugin to hook onto that restart script and use it to restart your server. So I'm going to show you guys how to set that up. If you don't, typically all your Minecraft hosting companies will have an auto restart feature somewhere. If not, you should uh, switch over, over to revivenode.com because they do have that feature as well. I'm going to show you guys uh, how it is on their hosting company and then I'll show you guys on a home hosted server how to get that set up, so let's do that right now. This video is being sponsored by Sangata. Sangata is the one-stop shop designed to help make finding the perfect plugins for your Minecraft server easy and efficient. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is quick to implement your ideas and improve the platform. With fair and just business practices, Sangata Marketplace gives you the opportunity to download free and paid plugins to help your server stand out from the crowd. Join the Sangata community by checking out the links below. So on the plugin page, if you scroll down to the very bottom, uh, there he does provide uh, auto restarts, a batch file for Windows, and a shell script uh, for Linux right here. So uh, depending on what you're running, typically at most uh, servers are using Linux, and it already has a built-in. But if you uh, are using Java uh, and uh, want to use it for restart with a uh, batch file with Windows, then I'm going to show you guys how to set that up. So basically, if you have your Minecraft server uh, on your PC, or even if your host has Java and you can edit the files. Uh, basically what you want to do is go into your run. Uh, this is your run text file. So this is what it will look like normally. All you really have to do is just copy this and then paste it in here uh, and then change the start to whatever startup file that it is when you click uh, to restart your server or start up your server. So I have a, a run right now so I'm going to change this to run. And then this is also going to change that to run. And then I'm going to change this uh, maximum gigabytes to 1G because I just uh, have it for my home hosted server. And then you're just going to change your uh, server.jar depending on whatever you have uh, in your file folder. All right. So that's all. And then when you save that, go ahead and save as. And then you're just going to save this as a run.bat or start.bat, whatever you want to rename it. Replace it. And this is the new Java code. Now if we go over here and open up our run, uh, it will start our server up. And the only plugin that I have on here right now is the Ultimate Auto Restart plugin. Just to showcase you guys that it does work fully. So I'm going to wait to server uh, restart and then we'll get into it. So now we can uh, access this startup file because we uh, automatically started up. So we can do auto restart and that gives you the command. So I'm just going to do now and then we'll put in 5 seconds and it will auto restart uh, when it's it finished. And there we go, it saved the chunks and it has successfully restarted. So that plugin works for your home hosted server. Now I'm going to go over to revive node hosting. So we have the auto restart time that just shows you at the very bottom when it is auto restarting. So if a player is due auto restart uh, for them, it will show them at the time. But for admins who have the certain permission node, then you have to use the time that will show you the time. So you can go ahead and uh, do an interval and we broadcast messages and sounds and titles, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to type in now and we'll just do 20 seconds. So as you see, it says I have four started and auto restart and it gave me uh, 20 seconds and then it will broadcast and uh, as you see, just not, just right there, it's going really fast. And now the server has restarted. So if we go over to our panel, this is what it uh, says in chat and then it is auto restarted uh, with revive node hosting. And if you guys want to check out revive node hosting, you can use the code STRIKER in all caps for 10% off. So once our server starts uh, uploading, now our server is ready to go. So let's go over to our plugins folder for this uh, auto restart plugin, show you guys what you can change. So we go to ultimate auto restart at the very bottom here and we go into our config. So inside the config, uh, we have built in placeholders with this plugin, which is pretty nice because you can have it on your scoreboard, let's say, if you have a placeholder API uh, to hook into it. 
And then just read your notes. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, make sure uh, that you keep your, your format the same for hours and minutes. Uh, but here is your settings for the restart command. So when it auto restarts, it go ahead and saves your server with the save all, and then it executes the restart command. So what I really like about Revive Node is that you do have a built-in restart command, and it will automatically restart it however you have it. So we have an auto reboot. Uh, I'm going to leave that as false for now. So right here in the notes, it says uh, you should choose between auto reboot and a specific reboot. As you see, uh, having both of them can cause issues because that is uh, what it is right here. So you have an auto reboot, and then this is the reboot interval, or you have a specific daily uh, reboot. So so that is 18 hours right there, 18 hours and minutes. So that is uh, the section right here. That is what it was referring to. What I recommend is just having this specific uh, daily reboot, but it's up to you how you want to have it. And then here is your messages and intervals so whatever seconds that it has so we're gonna hit it and place in 10 just like so and we can even place in 15 uh, all you have to do is just uh, enter in the mount and then here's all your messages pretty self-explanatory but that's pretty much the config you do auto restart and then reload that will reload all our configurations and everything that we change in the config and then the interval so let's go uh, 20 uh, because that is uh, we added 15 seconds as you see that is working properly and now we got 10 seconds as well and then we have the 5 4 3 2 and 1 and there we go we have restarted the servers and we have rejoined the server so if we do the auto restart and then we go to time as you see it is now pretty much like 24 hours so a few minutes have passed which is fantastic so it is working uh, perfectly how I want it and that is the plugin I will leave a link down in the description as well as the developers discord where you can ask him questions if you do have any hope you guys enjoy leave a like down below I'll see you guys next time peace